fellas, what's good? It's KC the Red Pill Alpha back at y'all again with that heat. Y'all already know what time it is. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin, and everything to the back of her neck, holding her down, locking her down. So her down for the game. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell as soon as I dump these videos. Pipe in high status. You can get it down your phone into your ear or your candy game. Facts. A thousand is the goal. We down there there. Pat yourself on the back, shoulder, head, and the we patting ourselves, man. We done right there, man. And you know, you fellas are kicking in, so I got to say much love, and I definitely appreciate it. But we need more, a thousand or better. We definitely need more My videos for education purpose only, <clears throat> and they're for fair use only. Fellas, only the strong survive out here in this jungle. What do I mean by that? Let me take these boxes. If you're not strong, to withstand the way these women are actually handling dating, the way these women are actually um, handling texting you and getting back at you when they can, um, leading you on, not getting back, you know, not getting back at you um, for the, you know, for the dating, for the dating sites or whatever. You matching up with them and you know, hey, what's going on? They ain't getting back at you, you know, they ain't saying nothing back or you meet her in person, giving her the phone number. She texts you right then and there, or you know, she probably wait later. Some of them wait later, an hour or two later. Hey, here's my number. You get that going. Hey, you know, I would like to um, get up with you and see what's jumping. You know, shoot your shot. You know what I'm saying? Go out on a date. You know, see what's happening. You know, put some of this motherfucking ear candy on your ear. You know, and uh. She probably wait a couple hours to get at you. She probably take your number and just don't get back at you. Fellas, what I'm basically saying is that there's a whole lot of games being played out here. And yes, only the strong survives in this jungle. And when I say only the strong survive in this jungle, which means you got to be headstrong. You got to be mentally focused on everything you got going on besides relying on women. Besides relying on trying to set up a date, besides relying on trying to actually lay down and get your shit wet, you know, get it off. You ain't bust no, you ain't bust no nothing back a few months, right? That's okay. That's cool. You human. <clears throat> it might be a few more months. You dig <laughs> the way these chicks be playing, but that's a part of the game. And the reason why I say only the strong survives out here is because you got so many weak men. Coming to these women rescue every morning. Good morning. Every afternoon. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good evening. What you eat for lunch? What you eat for dinner? What you eat for breakfast? Um, how did your day go at work? Some shit you really don't give a fuck about. But they got so many guys like that to where when the real guys come around, they will play games with the real motherfuckers just like they play games with the with the weak men, you dig? Because they figure like all men should be placed in this category since a lot, if not majority, of the men are out here simping, caking, being a motherfucking sucker and ain't getting nothing up out of it. You dig? Real talk. So they feel like every man should actually bow down to him. Every man should um Come to their every fucking text call or whatever they, you know, whatever they got going on. They feel like every man should jump down and be on top of that shit. Like we ain't got no, um, you know, like the real guys don't have no kind of um character about themselves. Like we don't actually, you know, stand on our word and take everything that we actually put out for face value for what it is. It's real. This is how it is. If you ain't getting on this program, then you might as well kick rocks and go. That's the mindset that we're on. The real men, you know, the actual men that's out here that's um, not caking, not cupcaking, not simping, not selling out for no fucking ass. You dig? The men like that, a lot of these women, I'm going to be honest with you, fellas. Now, I'm going to keep it real because I'm an introverted guy. I stay to myself. You know, I stay on top of my shit. I got too much going on, you know. and You know, I got my little chicks here and there, you know. It's there. But men like us, don't be surprised that 
She'll come at you. Just like they come at those weak ass dudes that sending them good morning, good evening, good afternoon texts and things like that. Just like those guys that be, you know, instead of giving them their number, they want their number. Yeah, baby, let me get your number. So he can check up on her, see what she's doing, what she got going on. If she's playing, if she's gonna flake on him, uh, is she gonna treat him this way? Is she really gonna show up on a date? You know what I'm saying? Do she really feel him? Do we he, uh, he's calling her to see if uh she's still interested in him or she's still interested in him? Do she still care for him? Do she still like him? Shit of that nature. But when you that man that's not doing that, when you that man that hand over that number, right? Get at me when you can. Or whenever you got a chance, you know, basically your choice is so many words. You, you, without you saying it, you basically telling her that and you showing her that. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean that she will fuck with you like that because you are headstrong and you stand on your shit. That doesn't mean that. That shit will spook off some of them women. Some shit will let her run their ass off because they so used to these fucking betas. You did. They so used to having a way, talking the way they want to talk to these betas, blocking these dudes out and unblocking them when they feel like, uh, you know, he, he's been in time out enough. You know, I'm going to go ahead and unblock him and shit. And, uh, you know, I need someone to actually, you know, probably cash at me some lunch money, you know, tell me I'm beautiful every time I really want to hear that, you know, do a lot of things for me that I want done. Then I unblock him, you know, simp ass shit. They're so used to that. So they'll take pride into dealing with that. And they also try to intertwine that with a real motherfucker. That's why it's a jungle out here, fellas. You get it? You can come off so realistic as you can. You know, you can get straight to it, not beat it around the bush or none of that shit. And she'll still flake on you. She'll still stand you up. She'll still allow you. Some of them will take the interest level all the way to the motherfucking door to have you thinking we get ready to get down. Nigga, she's cooperating. She's fucking with me like this. She, she's really feeling me. Have you thinking that? An hour or two later, shit, y'all, it's time for y'all to meet up. It's crickets on her ear. You ain't hearing shit. Some of them are like that. Because it's a jungle out here, fellas. And in order to, you know, make it through this uh, safari, this uh, Amazon or whatever you want to call it, you know. In order to make it through this, fellas. You must have it in your heart. You must have it in your mind. That shit is just temporary. None of this shit is going to be here forever for you. You know, none of this shit is guaranteed for you. It's not like that. It's temporarily. You're not married. And this is for my guys that's not married. And, you know, guys that are single, guys that's actually playing the field. And those who ain't looking to make you no know, relationship. And, you know, they really got their shit going on. You know what I'm saying? You're not married. You're single. And when you're single and you're not married or you're not in a relationship, shacked up with a woman, these is the games you're going to go through. And even if you are married or in a relationship shacked up with a woman, you still going to have to play games with that bitch. She's going to be holding the pussy back. You know, she'll be holding the sex back, you know, coming in anytime she wants to. She's taking more girls trips than ever. She's chilling with her partners, you know, allegedly with her family. A lot, a lot of shit you want to go through. It's good at the beginning, but it's going to be fucked up at the end. And that's, that's a whole nother video. So, fellas, this is 2022. You must understand that none of these women are going to abide by your page. Are not going to abide by your program. Are not going to abide by anything that you lay out unless they're fucking feeling you for you. If they're not feeling you for you, they're going to do what the fuck they want to do. Remember that. And they're going to run game. Run circles all around your motherfucking ass. they be fucking other motherfuckers. be fucking everybody else around. Sir, you know, everybody around you except for fucking you. And she still wants you to be there. To answer her calls. To answer her texts. To send her flowers. To tell her how beautiful she is. To uplift her fucking spirit. While she go out and fuck with the next guy. You do not be that motherfucking sucker. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stand firm. Stay alone. Stand within your shit. Allow these bitches to show you what they're about. You got to remember, you are the king. You are the prize. Motherfucker got to show you what they're about if they want to get on your program, right? That's the mentality you got to have. If you do not have that mentality, you're going to fucking drown. I'm telling you, because it's a jungle out here. You will get ate up, swallowed, and spit the fuck out. Bones. Real spit, man.
Fucker don't care about you out here. And these chicks will show you they don't care about you out here. Real talk, man. You do everything right within a date, you know, trying to set up a date, within trying to set up something to get to actually know this chick besides texting or too much talking on the phone, you know. Even FaceTiming. They playing games with that. Okay, baby, look, you know what? Fuck it. She probably stay about 20, 30 minutes, hour out or whatever. Let me FaceTime her, get her comfortable with me so she can pull her ass up, come on to the pad. And, and it can be the walrus. It can be the heavy set motherfucker. It can be a motherfucker. Ain't nobody too much looking at because she's, you know, you know, she she zooted out in the face. She don't look all that good, you know what I'm saying? And they still playing games. Why? Because they got simps. Willing to do any fucking thing they want them to do. So when they come across a real motherfucker, they don't know how to treat a real motherfucker. And they will run game on a real motherfucker and have you thinking like, damn, it's something up with me. When it ain't nothing up with you, man. It's just like it's in the fucking water now. This is how it is. You get it? It ain't nothing wrong with you. This is how it is. Yeah, you're going to get a shitload of them that's going to cooperate, get back with you, fuck with you. Hey, potentially lay, you know, y'all get to lay up, do your thing, go from there. You might have somebody on your team that's willing to fuck with you and carry on, you know what I'm saying? This big um, structure that you got going on and help you build that motherfucking shoot off to the moon. You got a lot of them out there. I'm not saying that that's not there. No, but it's being overshadowed. You did, you get me? It's being overshadowed by a shitload of... Women that wants to control the relationship. Women that want things to go in their fucking way. And they're running around at a rapid pace. It seems like every woman is like that, don't it? Don't it? On the social media side, you know, texting, the, I mean, or the chick you meet in person. It seems like they all like that, right? How you thinking that way, right? Yeah, that's how many motherfuckers are out here. That's how many chicks are out here willing to run that number on you. To keep you on the side. Fuck with you whenever they want to. Real talk. And expect you to sit there and wait on them. Don't go for it. Don't be a part of this jungle, man. Be above the jungle. You know what I'm saying? Be that motherfucker to stand out by not intertwining yourself in that shit. So when you see games coming, if you got a fucking slight idea that this chick's right here playing games, let her ass go. Cut her off. Move on to the next one. It's too many of them. I mean, you're not, I mean, I swear to God, you'll be dead before you run through every chick you think you're going to run through. You did. Trust me, it's too many of them. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe. Fellas, you got to have your heart intact. You got to have your mind intact. You really got to not give a fuck. I mean, literally, really not give a fuck. Because if you care one bit, then you swallowed in this motherfucking jungle. The, the lions and tigers and bears, they got you. You ate up. You fooled out there. Real talk. So do not let it deter your life. Everything that's going on within this dating world, and you may feel like things not looking up on the dating end and, and dealing with multiple women, and you want things to go your way. That's cool. That's okay. But patience is everything. Knowing yourself, loving yourself, giving a fuck about yourself, and caring about you. You are the prize. You number one. Had that in your mind. And you won't be wrapped up in this jungle. You can keep going on with life. And, and you will spot a whole lot of simps doing simp shit. You be like, damn. Glad I ain't that motherfucker, man. Yeah. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe. It's the message. Holla. Yeah.